Juxtaposition Arts is celebrating its 25th anniversary. It's a Twin Cities nonprofit. It's an art and design education center for young people, along with a retail shop and artist studio space in North Minneapolis. Joining us now on Skype, we have the managing director, Gabrielle Greer. Thank you so much for joining us, Gabrielle. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Hi. So you guys are celebrating uh, the organization's 25th anniversary. I know that COVID kind of forced you to cut staff, and then obviously um, the death of George Floyd happened right in our city, and, and that sort of energized some young artists. Yeah, I think what was super critical about our, about our organization right now is how we respond. And the biggest point really is our resilience and our ability to adjust during these difficult times. I think the activation that circulated throughout the community re really charged our young people as creatives to respond in ways that um, were authentic, ways that were emotion felt and ways that responded to I think what our collective community was feeling at the time. You know, Gabrielle, I think there's an understanding as well as the importance for our city to have black led groups uh, like mm -hmm. Juxtaposition Arts uh, leading some of this dialogue. Most of our arts institution in this community are white. They're led by uh, white leadership. Tell us, tell us kind of how you feel uh, Juxtaposition Arts fits in, in that overall picture. Yeah, um, first, we're one of very few black-led organizations um, in the Twin Cities, but specifically in North Minneapolis. I think what's super critical to us is understanding that there are amazing young people who are right here in our local communities, right in our backyards and neighborhoods, that when given the opportunity to express themselves, to move forward, and be able to create um, not only the non-traditional um, ways of, of learning, but also the skills that contribute directly to um, our economic development and our diversity pipeline um, mm. for our local economy, but also nationally. Yeah, and you're in the middle of a, a campaign right now to raise some money. I know you guys have a $2 million goal. Tell me how far you are and, and what the $2 million will go towards. Absolutely. So we're in the second year of a four-year, $14 million campaign. Um, we've actually raised $3 million so far, and our goal is to continue to raise an additional $2 million from vibrant, amazing community members who are right here um, in our local community, but also nationally. Um, and our goal is to create a state of the arts headquarters right on Emerson and West Broadway. Um, it will contribute not only to youth programming, but continue to create sustainability for an additional 25 years, not only for youth development, but also mm -hmm. youth employment. Gabrielle, the art that's gonna come out of this tumultuous time is gonna be incredible. It's gonna be Absolutely. so great. Yeah, we can't yes. we can't wait to see what your artists come up with. And you guys are such an important part of this community. So good luck in that capital campaign uh, and keep Thank it you. keep it coming. We're glad to have you guys on WCCO.com. They need your help and they need your support right now, too. Uh, it's a tough time for all arts organizations, but uh, Juxta is such an important part of the community. The longevity campaign is the name of their fundraiser. Yeah.